everyone, it's Sarah from The Mindful Movement. Thanks so much for joining me today. I have a 25 minute or so practice. It's a great way to get grounded, set your intentions, and get ready for your day. I hope you enjoy. Welcome everyone. Thanks for joining me for this grounding morning yoga practice. Roll out your mat and let's begin. Starting standing, align your feet about hip distance apart. We'll roll the shoulders up and back, finding the feet reaching down into the earth. The palms forward, fingertips energizing down and the crown of the head reaching up. When you find your posture, close your eyes if you'd like. And begin to bring your awareness to your breath, to bring you to this present moment. Beginning the practice in through the nose and out through the mouth. Letting go of any tension that you don't need to keep you standing. So perhaps through the neck and shoulders, maybe in the hips and low back, you could release just a little bit more. And as you continue breathing in positive life energy, breathing out any tension or tightness or holding, we'll start with a visualization to help ground us. So in your mind, imagine you have roots coming down through the soles of your feet into the surface below you, growing down through the ground, all the way down into the center of the earth. And this root system allows you to share energy. So you release any energy that you don't need, that's not serving you at the moment and pull up energy from the center of the earth to support you. And we'll stay here for another moment, finding that grounding, that sensation of being solid in your base. So lengthening upward, through the crown of the head. When you begin to feel that grounding sensation build, take a moment to set an intention for your day. Might just be one word that comes to mind, some quality that you'd like to build or experience throughout your day. Or it might be a couple things that are coming to mind. Let's take one more deep breath in together, solidifying that intention, perhaps repeating it in your head. When you're ready, gently blinking the eyes open. And moving to breath in through the nose and out through the nose as you circle the arms up and down. We'll do two more like that, breathing in and out. And one more time, finding length in the spine and out and building a forward fold into that movement. Breathing in, lifting up and out. The arm circle out will hinge at the hips. Keep your back flat as long as you can and then rounding through the upper back when you're ready, letting the knees soften. Feel free to rest your hands on your shins or the floor, wherever they might land to give you some support. Let's 
Shake the head side to side, releasing any tension, front to back, feeling the crown of the head really reaching down. And then bringing the hands to the shins or the thighs, lifting your eye gaze, rolling the shoulders back to your halfway flat back position. And then exhaling, melt down into your forward fold one more time. Inhale, lifting the head and heart first, circling the arms out and up. This time, let's take the right hand to the left wrist, lift up through that left side and side bend over to your right as you breathe in. And coming back up and switching sides, left hand pulls gently on the right wrist to help lengthen the right side. Taking the arms down. We'll do that one more time. Breathe in, lift the heart. And exhale, forward fold. Flat back as long as you can, rounding at the bottom. And we'll stay here again for another breath or two. If it's calling to you, you can clasp opposite elbows and hang in a ragdoll pose. And then once more, bringing hands to shins or thighs, lifting the head and heart, rolling the shoulders back. Inhale, halfway, flat back. Exhale, rounding down. Inhale, circling the arms up. One more time, right hand to the left wrist, side bend over to the right. And to the other side, big breath into the side body. And out. Good. One more breath here. And out. Coming to the front of your mat if you're not there. We'll build on that. Breathing in and out. Hinging at the hips. Rounding at the bottom. Inhale. Half lift. Flat back. Exhale. Round down. We'll plant the hands on the outside of the feet. Step the right leg back to a lunge. We'll lower the knee down. And then taking the hands first to the thigh, reaching the arms up. Big breath in. And then the hands will come down and we'll step that left knee back to right, uh, meet the right knee. And for child's pose, knees can be together for a little more opening or release for the back. Or you can keep your big toes together and separate the knees wide. For a little more opening for the hips as you lay your chest down. Maybe your forehead rests. Breathing into the belly, expanding the back body. Taking one more breath here. And let's make our way back up. From here, we'll step our right foot to the front of the mat between the hands. So aligning the knee over the ankle, lifting the hands to the knee, and then reaching the arms up, the heart up, taking a very gentle back bend here. And then the hands will come down. We'll step the left foot forward to meet the right, finding our forward fold. Inhale, lifting halfway, flat back. And exhale, melting down. Inhale, the arms circle out. And exhale, the hands to heart center. Let's close our eyes. We'll take two breaths here. Coming back to our intention. Perhaps checking in with your body without judgment, noticing maybe how things have changed with just the small amount of movement we've done so far. Blinking the eyes open, take a breath in. And out, hinging at the hips, rounding at the bottom. Inhale, halfway, flat back. And exhale, round down. Inhale, this time let's step the left leg back. We'll lower the knee down again. Take the hands to the thigh, reaching up just for a quick inhale into our back bend. And as we lower down, we'll take that left hand just inside of the right foot, turning to the right. This doesn't feel good for your shoulder. Hand can go to your hip or your low back. Take a nice big breath in as you twist. And then taking that hand back down. And again, we'll go back to child's pose. So you choose knees together or apart. 
laying the forehead down on the floor, or if you're not quite there, you can stack your hands or your fists. Find a posture of ease. Taking one more breath here. And then coming back up. Stepping the left foot forward between the hands once more. We'll come up to the knee. And big breath in as we lift the heart. And then exhale. The right hand now comes inside of the left knee as we turn to the left. Again, option to bring the hand down. It doesn't feel good for your shoulder or your back. And then bringing that hand down, curling the back toes under to lift the knee, stepping forward, forward fold. Inhaling half lift, flat back. Exhaling round down. Inhaling, lifting the head and heart first to come up. And exhaling the hands to chest center, closing the eyes. Grounding the feet into the earth below you. And blinking the eyes open, releasing the arms. And now we'll go into a few standing postures. So we'll start with our wide leg straddle position. So a good three to four feet between the feet, uh, between the feet, and the toes will be in just slightly. We'll lift the arms up, and then taking the arms out to the side, hinge at the hips. So just like we did with our forward fold, keep the back flat as long as you can. And then taking the hands down under the shoulders, the weight will need to be slightly more towards the balls of the feet so we don't go too far back with our hips. And then allow the upper back to round, taking it wherever it goes for you. If the back of the thighs are a little tight for you, you can always wiggle the feet out a little wider. And then lower down from there. If you feel like you want to block under your head, feel free to grab that and put it under your head. And then walking the hands back under the shoulders, lengthening the spine. We'll take the hands to the hips and hinge back up. Good. If you need to wiggle your toes in from there, you can. We'll rotate the left foot forward, so it's pointing towards the short end of the mat. And the right heel will open just a little bit, finding our hips facing the long side of the mat. Reach the arms out and sink down into warrior two. So at this point, the knee, the left knee is over the ankle. The arms are out in line with your shoulders. And then eventually, if it's okay for your neck, you look out over that left hand. And from there, going into side angle pose. So taking the left forearm, lightly landing on the thigh as you spin the right arm up next to your ear. Sinking down just a little more. So think of this as a little bit of a twist, the heart reaching towards the ceiling. Grounding again, feet into the earth, finding that connection. And then coming up through warrior two for a moment, we'll straighten the left leg, reach the left arm forward. So you're trying to get really long through that left side body and then find a place for your left hand to rest lightly. So maybe it's on the thigh or the shin or a block. Or if you can keep this side of the waist really long, you can go to the floor. And again, we're spinning the heart upward toward the ceiling. If your right hand's not so happy, you can rest it on your hip or your low back. Taking one more breath here. And then softening the knee to come up. We'll take the hands back to the hips, rotate that left foot forward once more. Inhale the arms up. And then exhale, we'll hinge at the hips again. So flat back as long as you can. This time we'll keep the back flat as we bring the hands to the floor or a block right in the center of your trunk. And we're gonna take the right hand to the center 
under the shoulder and we'll start with the left hand on the low back so you can feel at this point hopefully the pelvis is flat we're going to keep the pelvis flat as we turn just the shoulders to the left so maybe that's as far as you go and you keep the hand there to monitor your alignment or if it's okay for your shoulders the left hand goes up and we hold there for a twist breathing in deeply And then we'll bring that left hand down right to the center under the shoulders. And again, we'll start with the right hand on the pelvis, lengthening the spine. And we'll turn just the shoulder. So we're looking for not that twisting of the pelvis, but just twisting of the shoulders and trunk. And then maybe the right hand goes up. And then bringing that hand back down. Take a moment to fold into the stretch. And maybe as you start to loosen things up, your hands can walk back between your legs and assist that deepening of the stretch. And then we'll walk the hands back out, lengthening the spine to your flat back, taking the hands to the hips, hinging up and moving to our standing postures on the other side. So the right toes turn out. The left heel opens up, taking the arms out as we sink down into warrior two. So again, the hips and the shoulders are square towards the long side of the mat. And then maybe that right knee starts to cave in. So keep reaching it towards the pinky toe side of the foot. And then we look out over our fingertips, breathing deeply, finding that grounding. So if you're left pinky toes are rolling up try to ground them down into the mat and then side angle so right forearm lightly lands on the thigh turning the heart up breathing deeply staying present with that breath and then coming up through warrior two to transition into triangle straightening our right leg so the pelvis will tip slightly to help keep the right side of the body lengthening. And then we find a spot for our right hand. So maybe it's right thigh, right shin, the floor. If you have a tendency like I do to lock the knees, you might soften that right knee just a hair. And if that's not so comfortable for your neck, feel free to turn and look down. Softening the knee to come up. Take the hands to the hips, turn the toes forward, and just wiggle the feet in. And we're gonna do one standing balance pose today. So we'll start standing on that left foot for tree. So lifting the right heel, turning the thigh out. So you have an option of toes on the ground, heel resting on the calf, or maybe you press the calf foot into the calf or avoiding the knee entirely bringing the heel up to the top of the thigh so I'll take that second option take a breath in lift the arms and we'll start to just bring the hands to the chest center so I like to use this to help connect through the midline so here's where our grounding practice really helps us rooting the foot down into the earth and finding the oppositional energy reaching up through the crown of the head. And you are welcome to stay here or reaching the arms up, finding that full expression of tree. And then we'll very carefully take the arms and leg down. Now resetting with the right foot, grounding into the earth turning out through the left leg. So again, same options, toes on the ground, heel on the calf, nice balanced version. We're avoiding the knee below on the calf or above. So we'll take a breath in and then start with the hands at chest center. And 
And again, staying here or reaching the arms up. Finding again that oppositional energy, forcing down and reaching up. And then gradually letting the arms and legs come down. So we'll come to the front of the mat if you're not there already. Transition. Oh, that's the dogs. <laughs> Coming to the front of the mat if you're not there already. Transitioning onto our back. Lift the arms up and hinging at the hips. One last time, flat back, inhaling, rolling the shoulders, feeling that length in the spine, and exhaling. And we'll just step back to all fours, and then come to seated. So moving, oh, hello, that's Lulu. Hi, girl. She wants to be in here with us. <laughs> All right, coming into bow pose, lengthening the spine up. You are welcome to keep the hands behind the legs, or you can lift the feet up. So hands can stay here, or they can reach out in front. Knees can stay bent, or if you can, maybe, maybe maintain the length of the spine, which is not happening for me today, and keep the legs straight, you can go there. Otherwise, stay with me with the legs bent. Good. Breathing through the shaking. Breathing through that work, through the abdominals. Taking one more breath here. And then lowering the feet down carefully. We'll scoot a little forward towards the end of the mat and then roll down slowly. Walking the feet in to set up for bridge. Arms can be by your sides. Take a moment to widen across the shoulders so you feel the backs of the shoulders anchor down onto the mat. Take a breath in and then lifting the hips into your bridge. So we're lifting only as high as we can without really overarching into the bridge. So the front body is connected, the glutes and the hips are lifting you up, finding again that grounding into the earth. Taking one more breath here. And then we'll lower the hips down and bringing the knees into the chest, maybe rocking side to side. And then going into happy baby to open up the hips. So the knees will widen. I like to take the elbows inside the knees, either clasp the shins or the ankles or the sides of the feet. Or if you like to grab the big toes, you can do that. And then stacking the feet up over the knees. You're gonna open the knees wide and pull the feet down. And you're working the tail down towards the floor and maybe rocking side to side. And then settling into the middle, we'll release, bringing the knees into the chest again. And our final posture is the supine twist. So arms will go out to the side, keeping the knees pulling in. Inhale, they go to the right. And rest down on the ground. And then if your neck feels okay with it, you can turn and look over your left shoulder. Breathing in. And out. Such a great view of the trees here. It's a beautiful day. Nice blue sky. And then with the exhale, we'll bring the knees back. The knees will go over to the left. And then maybe looking over your right shoulder as you rest the legs down. Taking one more breath here. And then bringing the knees back. And then we'll finish with the Shavasana. So a final relaxation 
taking any posture you need to be comfortable. It might be something under your knees, or if you don't have anything and your low back is pulling, you can take your feet wide on the mat and bring your knees together so they can rest against one another. You're looking for a posture that you don't have to do a lot of work to be in. So wherever that is for you right now. Closing the eyes. Begin to relax the muscles around your eyes, the cheeks. Let the jaw unhinge. As all the muscles in your face and neck let go, encourage that same relaxed feeling to wash over your entire body. And as you lie here, some may feel this is the most challenging pose in yoga. Your mind may wander, that's very normal. Acknowledge those thoughts, and instead of following them out into a story or your to-do list, come back to your breath as an anchor to bring you back to this present moment and then the next. Take one more deep breath in together. Begin to bring some gentle movement to the body, bringing that energy back into your body to wake you up. Taking your time, we'll roll onto one side. Staying there as long as you need, staying relaxed. And then when you're ready, pressing up to a seated posture. The eyes closed once more. Take a breath in, circle the arms up, join the hands together, rest them at your heart. Revisit your intention once more before you go about the rest of your day. Take a moment to honor the time you've spent here today, moving your body, healing your mind. And the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you have a great day. <laughs>